Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is on the gradient tool. Uh, it's one for beginners, so it's going to be quite basic. Um, if you want to uh, follow along at home, the artboard is 1920 by 1080 pixels and the colors I'm using, the orange colors, are these CMYK values here. So if you just want to hit pause and add those to your values, add those to your swatches rather, also, if you want to press pause and, and set your um, Illustrator tools up like I have, I've got the gradient box open here. If you can't see it, just go up to Window and down to Gradient and it'll pop out. The shortcut is Apple F9 um, or Command F9. Let's get started. So you can see here I've got these um, gradients, these different types of gradients, but these have got transparencies in them. So I'm going to come to that a bit later on. So let's start with normal gradients so like I said if you can see the gradient panel let's just go through that we've got the the color here we've got your fill stroke this one's a reverse gradient the types of gradient we've got as it said in the title linear radial and freeform and we've got an edit gradient button which opens up the actual gradient editor we've got stroke gradients I'll come to those later on but those are also a really good addition and great to use we've got the stroke angle which is a sort of preset angle. We can do it manually or you can use presets. And this one here is the aspect ratio. Again, there's percentages to use, but you can do it freeform. It's generally a little bit easier. Uh, here we have the actual gradient slider itself. So each one of these circles is a color. So if I select this circle to start off with, we've got three colors, those colors we added at the beginning. We've got one there and one there and one there. If you want to edit them, you can sort of click on them and a white circle appears. You'll see if you've got your colors open, then it will go to there. So I click that one and you see it there and that one. Now we've got an opacity, which is whether you can see through it or not. At the minute it's set to 100%, so you can't see through it. If we click that, we could set it to naught and you could see right through it. We've got an eyedropper tool, a uh, color picker, if you want to color pick from an image or something like that and we've got a location so this one's at 100 percent this one here is at about 58 percent and oh it's very sensitive and this one here is zero so you can manually check manually change the um, location just hit that and it'll move or you can just grab it click and move it this one here is a gradient slider so this is will change the color between the two colors so if you put it right up against this one if you can see how that changes that there or right up against this one you can see so that's moving the gradient between the two colors again you can do it with that one as well so that's the basics of the gradient toolbox on this page all I've done is draw some shapes so if you select a circle draw that circle and it turns out to be purple or whatever it is to start with you would select it you would go to your gradient and normally you guys would probably start with a black and white gradient. So let's do that. And I'll just grab my white from here, drop it on, grab my black from there, drop it on. So that's probably what you would start with on your presets. So if you want black and white, that's great. If you don't, then again, you can just drag these colors onto your uh, gradient slider. So let's start with this one and drag it on. We haven't got a middle one at the minute, but that doesn't matter because we can just click it and drag into the middle, let go. Then click the darkest orange and drop it on. So that's it, we've done it. If we click edit gradient, you'll see the uh, it changes from a bounding box to the edit gradient um, presets here. So what you can do, there's various things on here. You can see the slider has now become this. So we can move these manually. We can move these manually. If we move this, it moves the gradient around. And if we move this, this is a bit sensitive because it can move it in and out. Or if you just hover over there and you'll see that circle appears, it can be very sensitive. But once you've got the circle, rotate, you can rotate it round. So there's all, if you just click and drag, it'll do it from side to side, whichever way you want to do it. You'll see if you're in the middle, that weird dotted black line will be quite small. If you're over here, it'd be quite big. So lots to play around with with gradients to get good effects. That is a linear gradient. The same process applies for a radial gradient 
it's just done in a slightly different way you can reverse it if you want in and out but the same principles apply again if you click on gradient or edit gradient you can move these around move them out move that ellipse in click on the slider itself maybe position it up there there's lots of different options so those three in the middle are radial this one is the free form now when you first draw a shape let's draw another circle let's just make it black and what we're going to do is go to gradient and apply the freeform gradient now it starts with just a weird beige color that it's just kind of made up and only one you'll see this little circle here you can just grab it and pick it but you can add as many as you want you just click in there and obviously to change the colors you would just select one press that select that one medium let's do the dark one here let's do the medium one up here maybe the dark one there we go now if you want to add another one just click and you can move these around this is a really useful tool for getting good shading on things it's quite advanced in terms of knowing how to use it but it can get some great effects you see that if you can grab that as well you can make them bigger and smaller you can also do lines so that at the minute it's points so we've got points but if you click to lines you can literally draw a line click once draw another line if you hold on to it it starts to do a curve so you can see there's lots of options that looks a bit mad but there's lots of options to do things there you can get some great effects um, the transparencies work in the same way linear radial freeform if we click on the radial for now all you do is click on your color and you would change the opacity from 100 to whatever it needs to be you can see if I've changed it to 50 there 100 is solid zero you can see through it if I sort of drag it over something you can see it's actually see-through you get great effects doing snowdrops raindrops that kind of thing um, shiny spheres and that sort of stuff so that's the opacity um, moving on to the strokes we've got three stroke options um, I've made the strokes really heavy so if you just draw a line use the line tool and then just draw a line I've made my stroke if you can't see it again open up stroke I made it like 82 pixels so you can see what I'm doing and with it selected in gradient you'll see the first one here is apply gradient within the stroke so it applies it from left to right you can change the angle uh, if we did minus 90 does it from top to bottom um, this square has just got that same effect applied so you can see it sort of starts over here and goes over there if we look at this one this has actually got apply a gradient along a stroke now that looks the same as the first one because we changed that first one to 90 but actually when you do it on a, a shape you can see it starts here goes round and all the way back rather than going from one side to the other it starts at a point and goes round so that's a good one looks like a nice picture frame this last one can be really good for doing neon effects so the last one is apply a gradient across a stroke now you can see I've changed the order here I've got two dark ones and one light one in the middle so if I change that middle one to even a white you can see you know you could get some really good neon effects on things if you're using bright magentas and blues and things like that so that's a good one as well I hope that was helpful there's quite a lot in there but that's the basics of using gradients you can get some fantastic effects um, please like and subscribe these tutorials are free and I'll see you again next time Thank you.